Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be ranking the Adams Family movies. Well, the live action Adams Family movie. And I guess the TV series as well. Alright, um. So, how would it go? Uh, well, I never seen, like, the cartoon one from 1973 to 1973. You only got 16 episodes. Well, I, I do remember seeing a black and white one, a few of the episodes, and uh, I did like it. I remember one of the episodes where they tried to teach Lurch to dance. It was really funny. That was good. So, uh, I guess I'll rank this one the lowest since i never seen it. The Adams Family one, I guess I would be... Maybe in between. Okay, so it'll go the cartoon one, Adam's Family Values, the T. The T series might be my fate. Would really eat. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. And they did a Halloween with the Adam's Family. It is a movie, and I have not seen it, but the promise does seem. Interesting. Burglars break into the Addison's house, and uh, they basically get terrified by the Addison's family, and that's about it. I mean, reading the synopsis, that's pretty much what it is, so. I guess I'll put that. So it will go Adam's Family Cartoon, Adam's Family, Halloween with the Addison's Family, because I have not seen it yet. Then values and Adams Family TV series, and then the Adams Family. I really did. I really do enjoy the movie, The Adams Family. It's really interesting, and I do like Uncle Fester as a whole. He's a very awesome character. Hmm, what else? Any deleted scenes on the DVD? No, no deleted scenes whatsoever. <sighs> Seriously, no deleted scenes. Right. What about this one? No deleted scenes either. I mean, I'm glad they were able to create the movie with no, with, with everything they wanted. That's awesome. Wait, these are for kids. Yeah, it got a. This one's not rated, though. Hmm. Values got a PG-13 rated. Adams. Adams Family. The Adams Family gets a PG-13 rated. Yet the two cartoon, yeah, the, two, the recent ones only got a PG rated. Wow, um. Yeah. I guess I would rank them in order. Um, I do like the Adam Family too, so I will get. I will put that one. Third place. So after Halloween of the Adam Family, the first one I do like this one. So. Uh, I would put this one uh, before the sequel. The sequel was interesting. I did like Road Trip and seeing them and seeing them. And the voice cast is good. Alright. Alright, so I guess that's my ranking. Now, I could have sworn there was, like, Adam's Family Reunion, someone told me, but it's not here. Alright, so, this would be last. Um, then, Values. Then, Halloween. Then, this one. the TV series, 
And finally, the Adams Family movie itself would be number one. Alright, so that's how I would rank the Adams Family. Hmm, I could do the Adams. Uh, so I need. So for next level, I'm doing. So instead of like two ma ultimate matchups a week, I'm only gonna be doing 13, and it's gonna be like the 13 nights of Halloween. Which is. Yeah, I mean, it is, a, it is as tradition here. Yeah. Princess Luna is going to be like the... Yeah, it's going to get a match on Halloween. I'm going to eventually find run out of matches for her. I mean, not really. There's still a few left, like Virgil versus Luna. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, unfortunately. Hopefully they with new stuff coming, new anime games coming out. Maybe a new opponent for Luna could... Yeah. Here. Alright. So I need 12 horror matches. I want to be like horror matches I have not done before the year before, the last two years. I want brand new horror characters I have never touched before. Alright, so this month I am going to be doing a lot of horror review, movie reviews. Some ultimate matches. I may only do like four on this one. And I'm gonna try to get a schedule going. Uh, my schedule is I open whenever I feel like it, or whenever I have motivation. Okay. Um, I could do the Adams Family versus the Monsters. The Monsters. Really? I know I got a movie. I know I got... I mean, a lot of people compare to the monsters. The monsters... Yeah, the monsters to... Well, yeah, the Adams Family. Well, yeah, both of them came around... Well, actually, they came out first. Then the Adams Family, 1973. Wow. It is a bit sad that no one, um... We made... The monsters. That would be a very interesting matchup to do. Yeah, I've. Well, Grandpa definitely has potion and magic. Let's see. I think the biggest one would be Herman, who is um. Fred Gwynn, who played. Her, um. Judd in Pet Cemetery. And that was like his final role before he passed away. May he rest in peace. <sighs> so anyway, um, I could do that match. I mean, I, it's a family versus a family. Oh, both of them are spooky to scare people. In you know, my opinion, I'm not sure who would win. Herman would be the toughest. The dude survived a safe falling on his head with little to no injuries. Survived um, a NASCAR, a, yeah, a NASCAR car driving at him at full speed, and it just got destroyed when it made impact with him. Oh. Yeah, not a scratch on him, though the car got completely destroyed. Now, for a car going that fast, Herman definitely has the highest durability out of anyone in the Monsters, and that may be the reason why. It would be tough, but then again, I have to rewatch it, rewatch the Adams family to see stuff they can do. Though I'm pretty sure the fight will come down to Lurch versus, versus Herman. So there's that. So this will be a fun one. Hi, um, hope everyone has a wonderful day. Oh! Today, at the movie theaters, the AMC, every movie is like $3. So, I'm probably going to be going in there to see a movie or two, maybe. I don't know what I'm going to watch. I have to see what's there. Alright, so hope everyone has a wonderful day. Also, happy belated Hobbit Day. I got to do a lot of rings with you today. Uh.
I want to talk winds. Oh, well, I want to talk about winds of power, but I really don't. Alright, um, so, hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye.